Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again, Code With Me. So friends, in this session of Code With Me, we will be discussing about the Python interview questions. So in this video, we will uh, we'll be talking about the common interview questions that will be asked if you're sitting for a software development which requirement of Python programming language. So friends, if you watch this video right till the end, you will have the brief knowledge regarding what and what kind of questions that will be asked for a fresher if if you are if the requirement is python okay so if you watch this video i mean show you that that you will have the clear cut scenario of what exactly the interview goes on with the, with the python programming language okay so before wasting time let's just gently jump to the video so friends essentially comes with tips about python interview here what i'm trying to say is it is not just enough to learn about books concept arrays strings and everything you need to have the python interview Apart from the coding part, you need to have some brief knowledge regarding police. Just because coding, learning, executing is not just enough to push into the interview or push into any company. But there are some tips and there are some information which have to, have to be gathered before you sitting to an interview. So, we are, what are the friends? Number one, history about Python programming language. Here, I'm not trying to say that you need to know the in-depth details regarding the Python programming language. It is good to know who invented Python, why it came, and what are the advantages, disadvantages, features, everything. Okay. Next comes why is Python is so famous and widely used? You see, friends, initially the programming language started from C language and it has moved to C and it moved to C Ash and it has moved to Java and now Python. See, there are some features involved which makes Python program language found to be most advancement compared to that of all the languages which I have said previously. So you need to know why, what are kind of features that Python inherits to make it so famous. And what are the features that Python include? As I said before in the second point, that you need to know the features of the Python which makes it stand at the top of all the programming languages. Okay. And object oriented programming language this is the core concept of java and python programming language so if you are sitting to a python or java interview you have to ensure that that you need to have the clear cut clarity explanation about every single concept of object oriented programming language i can't give you a guarantee that what kind of concept that will be asked for python entry but i can give you a guarantee that the concepts of object oriented programming language will be asked in every python interview okay Next, why Python is found to be most developed as practice? So, uh, let me tell you the assessments. Uh, as I said before, Python is far more flexible language. It makes developers to code very fast and it is not time consuming. Last but not least, why Python has got a lot of growth in financial growth? As you see, friends, compared to that of uh, C developer or PHP developers, will develop Python developing or that phase has lot of growth perhaps in the financial the package they pay to this particular python developer is found to be extremely good so i assume that if you go to this python interview you will never regret the package that will be offered for a python developer compared to that of other programming language developers okay friends so coming to the core part intro questions about python Okay, so intro question means these are the common questions that will be asked in order to check your confidentiality and the knowledge about the particular concept of Python. I'm not trying to say that uh, the semicolon, printf, scanf, order, print, definition on this. There are some few questions which will be asked. So that makes Python completely different from language. Okay. So what are the small questions that that is going to be extremely important that will be asked without forget in interview questions? What are those? Number one. What are the features of Python? As I said before, in the first intro questions, what are the features of question? See, friend, this is found to be one of the most important questions. So I assume that it's better to know at least of six to eight points for this question because this is the common question that will be asked because Python is found to be one of the most advanced programming language. So you, you have to know the reasons, right? Why Python is number one? You need to have another question. You need to know the reason. If the interview is asked a question, you need to give the very good answer so that interview will be extremely impressed by your answer. Next, what type of language is Python? 
here comes as is a python interpreter language or a compiler language you need to make research on that okay so i'm not drag uh, i'm not going to drag about interpreter compiler because this video is all about interview so uh, i mean enlarging about the interpreter and compiler it takes a lot of frequency now. perhaps if you want to know interpreters regarding that you can watch my videos okay so you need to have the uh, you need to have the answer for this question what type of language is python it is a interpreter or compiler and next come name convention python as you heard this word name convention in java <coughs> java that main method should be capital and as i was saying friends speaking about name convention it is better to know that whether the main class should be at capital letters or the particular function name should be capital underscore and space collectivity and the keywords characters everything matters in Python programming language okay this is the one of the most biggest questions that will be commonly asked not to check not to confidentiality but also a common sense in this programming language what is that when is semicolon is used in Python see first as you know that semicolon is not at all used in Python so you know to check your confidentiality and your spontaneous answer this question will be commonly asked Okay, so request you can you please uh, make a better paper answer for this semicolon question. Next comes memory management in Python. So speaking about management, uh, I need you to have at least of two minutes answer for these particular questions. Request you can you take make, make a research on this particular question what I'm asking. Next is Python AK subset. Okay, next. What is the difference between arrays and lists? See. Difference in Python arrays and list functionality is found to be similar. So there is a difference. I request you can you please uh, find out the difference and make sure ensure that in a, it can draw a small program for that. Not to if the if the if the interviewees try to drag you more details about this array and list, so make sure and show you that uh, you need to know the common or basic example about the arrays and list that you can exactly differ the difference between arrays and lists. Okay. And last not what is arguments in Python. So, uh, in my previous video, friends, I assume I have explained the interpreter regarding the Python. So, if you not view the video, you can you can you please go back and watch the arguments video in Python, friends, and packages about Python, which includes the inbuilt keywords and what version of Python is currently running right now. Add one to this of Python. Okay, so friends. Next one is it's going to be the most core part of Python that is object coordinate programming structure. So as I said before, in this in Python, it's found to be it's well known for its object oriented programming structure friends. See, it's better to start with definition what is OOPS. Okay, OOPS is object oriented programming structure, uh, which make use of uh, concepts like inheritance, polymorphism, and data encapsulation to make the program much more object oriented. So by making that we have a lot of advantages like flexibility time consuming code reusability so start with the definition and why do we use it and how do we use it next concepts of words inheritance polymorphism encapsulation so friends when the, uh, this question is asked to you you have to ensure that that you will give one of the best definition ever okay uh, so when the intro is asked please make sure you don't drag the definition of this inheritance polymorphism encapsulation more than two minutes because if you, if the definition has make sure that uh, time is less than 30 seconds if the definition of inheritance polymorphism encapsulation is asked and single program what is a simple program friends uh, assume friends if you introduce uh, is asked about inheritance okay if he is if he is very happy about the definition he likes to know the programmatic style of yours okay whether it is average good and it all depends on how you represent the program okay so uh, you have to ensure that please make use of as any short program regarding that you explain the particular concepts like inheritance polymorphism and calculation in python okay next advantages of hoop every concept of inheritance has its advantages polymorphism has its own advantages and calculation has its own advantages ensure that it will be covered friends last but not least what is the difference in oops from python to c plus plus and java this is a commonly question asked okay in programming structure 
okay and what are construct rules so there are some construct rules which has to be used if you're writing an object or head programming structure because um, because as you know that as you know friend, the instance variables installation will be done by constructors so it's better not to do the in-depth details regarding a few lines about the constructors because it plays a prominent role in objects and object variables okay next one friends arrays strings operators and functions see friends the reason why i'm saying these concepts are very important array strings operators and function you can see here friends these four topics array strings operator function is found to be coming from the past program c c plus plus c as java whatever you take friends these array strings are found to be one of the most common topic which has to be covered at any cost okay this concept will be uh, will be taught to you from the school or from the college from the scratch you have to because just because you have to ensure that this concept these concepts will be extremely thorough so even if the question is actually exactly in the midnight you have to ensure that you need to answer this question in spontaneous of five to six, six seconds so I request you kindly please ensure that you be prepared for this place and um, array strings operation functions so speaking about these concepts starting definition so if the intro is uh, if the question is uh, what is array what is strings what is operators what is function make sure you have click a definition followed by how do you initialize array how do you initialize strings operators processings functional initializations okay next time declaration how do you declare a function how do you declare an array how do you declare a string and how do you make use of operators and using how do you make use of array how do you make use of strings how do you make use of functions how do you have operators and type? types in the sense there are two types of array i um, mean single dimension array two dimension array multi-dimensional array speaking about strings mutable strings immutable strings and operators plus minus plus plus minus minus greater than less than equal to and functions speaking about functions what are the type of functions that will be used in python and advantage and disadvantages okay so friends last but not least advancement concept in python in this we include of multi-threading structures exception handling file path working with xml and sorry so friends uh, speaking about advancement concepts so what i'm trying to say here is if uh, if the interviewee is asking for a fresher i assume that uh, that advancement concept in python will be very lessly asked in any mhc companies if you're uh, if you're, if you're focusing on startups or you to kindly please make thorough of these all concepts multi-threading structures exception handling file paths and working with xml okay so because uh, this advancement concept in python will be readily asked for a fresher if so uh, what i'm recommend uh, what i'm recommending is that you know to have the in-depth detail about the basics of of every python programming concept which i've explained before what i'm trying to say is that you need to have the better knowledge of every basic core python concepts for interview so i'm not going to say that you need to uh, you need to finish the entire python book you must be ready to able to write a textbook i'm not trying to say that you need to be that level ready to get an interview so you need to have the better strong knowledge uh, more than an average strong knowledge about basic concept of python it will be much more than enough to crack any interview okay so friends so the question ends here okay so if we have any questions regarding the pattern or request request you can please spend on your dots in the comment section and definitely give back and uh, if you like the, if you're new to this video make sure you subscribe and uh, if you like the video make sure you like and comment about the reviews and share the video with your friends and that but not least friends uh, my instagram is page i will uh, have created a new instagram page so link in the description if you find it please follow me on instagram Okay. Thank you for thank you for watching, my dear friends. Have a nice life.